Or this is a nature segment, and you're kind of camoed into the I couch. I totally <laughs> am blending into the you're couch. Camouflage into the couch. Uh, by the way, uh, Kinga is back from the Galapagos. You mean the Galapagos? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yes, the same one. <laughs> so, Kinga, our favorite adventure is here to talk all about it, the Galapagos Islands. Hi, Kinga. Hi there. Hi. Okay, so tell us all about it. Well, first of all, where is it? What does it look like? What do you do there? So <laughs> the Galapagos Islands. Those are Islands, three questions. Those are three questions. I'll make, I'll make it quick. Galapagos right. Islands off the coast of Ecuador. They're about, I think, 500 miles off the coast. And they're a series of islands. And they are like nature lovers paradise. They're the place that you go if you want to experience nature at its finest, most spectacular. Like little seal pups will come out of the, the water and they will curl up next to you. You're kidding. Like it is, wow. the animals there are completely unafraid. You have flamingos walking by in, in a massive group and you just happen to be there, so they surround you. I have photos wow. of me with, with flamingos. Like wow. you swim underwater with hammerhead sharks, with whale sharks, you name it. It is truly paradise for nature lovers. And, the, and it's been protected. protected. Now, yes. is it owned by Ecuador or what? what, what is the it deal? Is. It is. It's part of Ecuador. It is. So it's a protected environmental treasure, right? It is all protected. And there are really two ways to do the Galapagos. You can go do a liveaboard. If you are especially, like you can do a dive liveaboard so if you want to do a lot of diving. If you don't want to do a lot of diving, you can do a liveaboard that visits the islands and you get off and you do day trips there. Mm -hmm. Or you can just less expensively go and visit the islands themselves and there are ferries that take you to most of the islands. The only ones that you can't get to are Darwin and Wolf, which are two of, they're very remote and those are like incredible, incredible diving islands. The schools of hammerheads, the quintessential image of the hammerheads above you is, is from those islands. Wow. Okay, so if you were to do it on your own, mm -hmm. I mean, are there places to stay on all of these? These islands are there, or, or are you camping? Like, how does that work? You can do both, actually. Okay. But most of the islands are inhabited, and they do have hotels. There are not any five-star five star luxury. Got it. There might be actually on on some of the main islands, like nicer hotels. I definitely had the opportunity to stay in some really nice ones, and then a couple where I'm like, is this water hot or cold? I can't tell anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so you definitely get both, and okay. it also depends on what you're interested in. If you are a diver, then definitely the live aboard. You get to go out to the furthest islands, experience hammerheads and and tiger sharks and whale sharks and you know rays and you name it it's incredible when out there. I, when I was a kid I wrote I read a book called Aku Aku which was about the Galapagos Islands. Oh really? And it, it, it was describing the the culture of who inhabited it and those giant heads that are the, those monuments that they have there on the Galapagos. Did you see those? Is that Easter Island maybe? Oh I'm thinking of Easter Island. Easter Island. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, see how I see how you confuse it? Islands. Yeah. Islands. Well no it's interesting so that is Easter Island. Island, not, That's Easter Island. And so uh, yeah. the Galapagos are a much different environment than, than Easter Island. They have you are been to different. Easter Island? I have not been to yeah. Easter Island, actually, but okay. I'd like to read that book. So, uh, <laughs> so, so next time I won't mention that. Next time, yeah. Well, I'll mention I, the book. You were, you, before he interjected with the story that now becomes irrelevant, that is Easter Island. I want to know, it, yeah. you were saying there's two different ways to do it. You can stay, do the hotels, you could do the liveaboards. Right. So those, those are really the two main ways. So you can fly into the Galapagos, the main airport, and you can hop around to the different islands yeah. via ferry. Cool. Or you can fly into the main island, get on a liveaboard, visit as many of the other islands as that cruise allows, mm -hmm. and it can either be diving or non-diving. So okay. I want to know what kind of species live on that. You mentioned yeah. hammerhead sharks, but there's like all kinds of other bird things. species, right? So many. So the California sea lion is everywhere. Where else from California are like, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but they are so friendly. Here, if you see a sea lion on the beach yeah. and you try to get close, which you shouldn't, no. it, they, they can bite you yeah. or they'll run away. There, if you are sunbathing on the beach, they will come and lay right next to you. Is it just yeah. because so many visitors come and they're used to people now, or is it? It, it must be, yeah. but I also think because those animals are so protected, and even the locals, so they mm -hmm. have a rule that you have to stay, I think it's it's three, two or three meters away from the animals. So that means that even the locals are so protective of these animals because they understand this is what people love, that if you squat down and take a photo, people will say, oh, you're a little too close. Oh. And they're not rude about it, but they're just kindly protecting the animals. So you have the sea lions there, you have the iguanas, which are as oh, cool yeah, as everyone tells you. They really? spray salt. There's what? marine iguanas and there are terrestrial <laughs> iguanas. And the marine ones swim around and they eat like they eat. Are um, they enormous? They're enormous. I bet. They're enormous. Marine. Yes, exactly. So wow. they're they're eating like little bits of seaweed and stuff from the rocks and moss, and then they spray the salt out of their nose. It's so you would fly into Quito and then go to the coast, or yeah. what? 
you fly into Quito, so you fly in Ecuador to Quito, exactly, yeah. and then you fly on to one of the two main islands where there's an airport, and from there, you can expand out via ferry or via Liverpool. Fantastic. What a great adventure. I'd East, love to do that. Easter Island next. Easter Island, Easter Island next. next. Okay, so you're, next. the challenge is to go to Easter Island so I can talk about my book. <laughs> Whatever. I'll get yeah. there for you, Carlos. But, you know, I, confu I did. I mentally confused the two of those okay. islands, but it's really interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I'm excited cool. about both of them. <laughs> I would like to go to both places. <laughs> Me too, Carlos. A lot of Me islands. Too. I feel perfectly comfortable being the only person on the island, <laughs> as I am right now. Thank you for letting me hang out there. <laughs> I'm just letting you dig your Thank own you very much. situation. He's Thanks. swimming. He's swimming, swimming down. down. Thank yeah. you, Kinga. Can I find a seal to lay next to me now? <laughs> Thank you, Kinga. We'll be right back.